we begin with that family outrage tonight by the price of freedom for a man accused of killing their loved one in a hit and run. They want to know why he was able to get out of jail and back in the driver's seat. 7 Action News reporter Brian Abel talked to the family tonight. He joins us live with their plea for justice. Brian. Yeah, right now, Adonis Jackson, he is charged with fleeing the scene of an injury accident after allegedly hitting Marquise Four on July 16th. He's now out on bond, and the price tag for that bond, according to Four's family, is a slap in the face. This is the video Marquise Four's mother watches every day to remember her son, whose ashes are now prominent in the living room. And this is the video of her son's final waking moments on July 16th crossing the road with his hands up when hit by a white SUV. Wayne County prosecutors believe that driver is Adonis Jackson, charged with fleeing an injury crash scene and out on bond without restrictions. If it, if, if it was the same situation with the police officer, you know, that boy don't have no bail. But my brother was just a regular person, so the boy get... 10% of $5,000. We will pay $500 to have my brother back. Forrest family believes prosecutors have dropped the ball on Marquise's case, not only because Jackson is out, but allowed to drive. And they feel the case isn't being properly investigated after providing prosecutors with potential witnesses. They gave us all the information willing to come forward. They still haven't been contacted. Prosecutor's office confirms there are currently no restrictions on Jackson, but restrictions will be addressed at his next court appearance on Friday. The family not understanding how he's been able to ever get behind the wheel again before answering for Marquise's death. We want the right thing done. We want this boy held accountable for his actions, not because he just hit my brother, because he hit my brother and kept on going. He woke up the 17th of July, the 18th of July, the 19th of July, and he lived his life as if he didn't hit and kill nobody. Now, Four was initially on life support uh, to harvest his organs. He ended up donating to six different people before that life support was pulled. And tonight, the prosecutor's office, they tell me that because Marquis succumbed to those injuries in the crash, the case will be reviewed. Reporting live in Detroit tonight, Brian Abel, 7 Action News.